Hi, it's Paul Benedict with the Benedict Group at Keller Williams Realty Las Vegas. This video today is to give you an overview of the activity in the high-rise market here in Las Vegas real estate. I want to start by saying that at the end of quarter three of 2018, that's at the end of September, the median sales price for a high-rise condo, now that's a building in Vegas that's five stories or higher, um, it was $330,000. That was the median sales price. However, I want to make the case that we have two very different kinds of high-rises. We have traditional residential towers that are designed for people to live in, either as full-time residences or part-time residences, and those are what I refer to as residential high-rises. And then we have something called a condo hotel or a condo tell. And those are towers that have units that are not necessarily, or are not designed for permanent occupancy by the owner. Rather, they are designed more for temporary occupancy by either the owner or by short-term tenants. They're basically owned hotel rooms. So some examples uh, of, I, of each will be gone over here. I have a graph to show you. We'll talk about median sales prices and median price per foot for the various kinds of high-rises. All right, so at the end of quarter three, the median price 330 for all proper for all high-rise uh, types. The median price of 330 is for both product types of high-rises combined. Now let's break them down and talk about individual. So if we look at the residential segment only, $375,000 is the median sales price as of the end of October, and that's 4% up from 12 months prior. If we look at just the condo tell products, the median price for that segment is $260,000, up 8% from 12 months prior. Now, the price per foot is very different as well. Let's look at those. For the residential product segment, 313 bucks a foot, and then for the condo hotel segment, 452 a foot. Now, the 452 a foot seems pretty high, and it is because those are income-producing properties, and they're smaller um, in size as well. Typically, when size of real estate goes up, the dollar per foot goes down. So you see along the bottom here of this graph the tower name, and the blue bar represents the actual sales price. Now this is for quarter three, so July through September of 2018. And then the green bar is the price per square foot for those sales. All right, so Allure over here on the left, 235 is the median sales price and 227 bucks a foot. Now Allure is a, a, a nice residential tower on Sahara just west of the Strip, residential in nature. Jewel is downtown. Loft five, uh, no sales for the past quarter, so nothing is being reported there. This is something interesting. So the Waldorf Astoria is now what the Mandarin Oriental was. And you see the median price there, 1.7 million and 1,062 a foot. The other two standouts here, one Queens Ridge Place, if you're not familiar with this, this is an off-strip property. This is technically in the Piccoli Ranch, uh, correction. This is technically in the Queens Ridge master plan, um, the gorgeous, luxurious towers um, looming over the super luxurious uh, one Queens Ridge place which is in the Queens Ridge master plan gorgeous gorgeous units there 445 a foot and 14 one uh, one the super luxurious one Queens Ridge place and these two beautiful towers are located in the Queens Ridge uh, master plan 1.4 million uh, median sales price and 445 a foot. The other standout here is the unique Park Towers. Now, if you're not familiar with this one, uh, these are on at the Howard Hughes Parkway near Flamingo. So 1.6, and there are very few sales that happen in these towers, but when they do, the prices are, are, are quite high. Now, I wanna point out the actual condo tells here so you know the difference between the two. All right, so we have um, MGM Signature is one of our condo tells. Palms Place, the Platinum Tower, the Trump and the Dara. Those are the condo tells, and the rest are residential units. Okay, so we have Veer over here on the right, that's at city center, along with the Waldorf. I want to also mention the downtown properties specifically. So, Jewel is one of our downtown properties, um, Newport Lofts. Soho Lofts and the Ogden. Excellent deals happening at the Ogden currently. I also want to draw a distinction between Turnberry Place and Turnberry Towers. Turnberry Place was the original 
high-rise luxury uh, community here in Vegas on Paradise. It's the four white towers that's kind of just east and a little bit north of the, um, the Drew, which is formerly the Fontainebleau. That's Turnberry Place, very luxurious. And Turnberry Towers are the, are the two newer ones. Those are actually on Karen Avenue, farther east of, of Turnberry uh, Place. And so that's Turnberry Towers here. Also, there's a difference between Panorama 1 and 2 and uh, the Martin. So the Martin was originally supposed to be Panorama 3, but when the economy changed in 2008, um, the third tower actually didn't get built, so the first two Panorama Towers did, then a, a separate developer came in later and finished the third tower, and it's called the Martin. So the sales prices at the Martin are usually higher than the sales pr prices at uh, Panorama 1 and 2, but for this quarter, that was not the case. And the last tower I want to draw your attention to is One Las Vegas. This one is on the far south end of Las Vegas Boulevard uh, near Blue Diamond. Two towers, um, very nice interiors, and the towers have some excellent views of uh, Las Vegas Valley and the South Strip. So excellent value there as well. Three ninety is the median price, and two forty-seven a foot. So if As always, my team and I are standing by to assist you and anyone that you might know that has high-rise real estate needs. Please let us put our 15 years of brokerage expertise to work for you. Thank you for watching. Paul Benedict signing off.